Hey guys, welcome back to Triple L Rustic Designs. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to use the Wood Miser MB200 Slab Miser Slab Flattening Machine. The Wood Miser Slab Miser is 13 feet long and this is the wide version that is 72 inches wide. If you wanna see us putting it together, I encourage you to skip back a couple videos where you'll see us unboxing it and installing the entire thing. In that video, we didn't have the electricity installed yet, so we couldn't show you using it. So in today's video, we're taking this camphor cookie here and we're gonna flatten it perfectly flat and show you how great this machine works. This camphor cookie that I have beside me here was brought to us by a customer who wants us to flatten it and then he's gonna turn it into a beautiful coffee table. As you can see, this camphor cookie has two pits and then it has a bark inclusion between the two pits that creates a small little void the customer, after it's flattened, is gonna chip out that void and he's gonna fill it with epoxy. Before we start flattening this camphor cookie, we need to make sure that it is dried properly. So to do that, we're gonna be using our Orion 950 pinless moisture meter. First thing we gotta do is turn on the Wagner meter and we're gonna set our species to 0.52 because that's the setting for camphor. We're gonna set our depth to three quarter of an inch and then we're gonna start testing. So to use this Wagner meter, you just put it on a flat surface on the slab and it reads down into the wood and tells you the moisture content. What's really crazy is yesterday when this slab got here, it was testing at about nine to 10%. And now overnight from sitting out in this ridiculous Florida moisture, it's now testing at like 15 or 16%. So overnight, it, it drew in about 5% of moisture which is terrible. That's why Florida is terrible for woodworking. It's, it's not a good place to store wood, to have slabs and to do woodwork. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten this thing down and then we'll get it inside our air conditioned shop. It'll be a controlled environment where it won't suck up any more humidity. So we know that this camphor slab is dry enough to work with. So we're gonna get it in place on the slab flattening mill and we're gonna show you how great this thing works. So these little clamp downs that I'm using here, we've come to realize that they don't really clamp anything down. They, uh, they're they pretty terrible if you're trying to clamp something down, but they're great at holding something from moving side to side. So you just nudge it up against your species or whatever you're flattening, and then you just crank them down. And this basically locks it in so the slab can't move anywhere. I like to peek my head underneath and make sure that the slab is sitting on the rails and not sitting on like any piece of bark or anything to have it popped up in the air. So from looking underneath, this slab has a slight cup to it. The middle of the slab is touching the rails, whereas the sides has a slight gap. So it's basically sitting with a very slight cup, even though it's in really good shape we'll basically come in, flatten off this side. That'll get rid of any cupping or anything. That'll make a perfectly flat surface. And then we'll flip it over. Then it should sit perfectly flat on the rails and then we'll flatten that side and it'll be finished. So the Slab Miser has a big three horsepower motor and underneath it has this spiral head that has five four-sided carbide knives. The carbide knives can be changed four times before having to be replaced. We're gonna go ahead, turn on the motor, and then I gotta get over there and turn on the dust collection. You wanna use dust collection when using this slab miser because it creates a lot of sawdust and chippings and you wanna be able to suck those up and get those out of the way because it'll pile up quick underneath. So before we start flattening, we need to set our depth. So I'll move the head closer to the material and then I'll raise it up to the proper height.
looks like our high spot is going to be down here in the middle. So I'm going to lower it down. That should be good. So right now we're sitting at about two and three quarter inches. The flattening head underneath the motor is spinning in a clockwise motion. So I always start with the motor on that side of the project away from me and I always stand on this side of the slab miser and I work myself that way. So that way that motor is spinning and it's cutting off the material as it goes that way. If you try to go side to side, it leaves like hills, it, it does like climb cuts and it doesn't work as good. And if you try to cut this way, it leaves burning. It still cuts, but it doesn't cut a clean cut. To get your cleanest cut, you start on the side away from you and you work that way. And then you can take it over, come back around and keep working that way, or you can come back across. When you're starting off, it's a little boring because you're working your way around the slab, only flattening the high spots. So in the beginning, it's a little slow and not as amusing to watch, but once you make a couple first passes, then it starts to get fun. So we made our first pass and it, it hit a couple spots on that slab. We're gonna go ahead and drop it down a couple more clicks, about an eighth of an inch or so, and we'll continue working it. As you can see, we've got most of this slab flattened. There's still a low spot here and a low spot right here. So maybe one or two more passes, this side will be done. We'll flip it over and then we'll flatten the other side and she'll be done. So we've got one side of the camphor cookie perfectly flat. We need to flip it over and we'll flatten the other side. Before we flip the camphor log over, I wanna show you something. So you saw how in the beginning in the video, it was testing around 16, 15%. Well, since I flattened off some of the surface, watch this. We're now testing at around 13 to 15. Yeah, 14, 14, 13, 14. The EMC for Florida is around 13 and a half percent. It is very, very humid here. When you go out west to places like Arizona and Oregon and all those other states, they have an EMC of around like seven to 9%. So that's where they wanna get their wood. We wanna get our wood down to about 11 to 13%. 
So seeing that this slab is testing at 13 to 14, that's perfect. We'll flip it over and we'll start flattening the other side. So now that this slab is nice and flat on one side, we'll be able to flip it over and it should sit nice and flat. But you see that right there? See that little piece of, see that piece of bark? You wanna make sure there's no bark on your rails because that can cause the slab to sit up higher and then everything's messed up. Good, and now our slab is sitting nice and flat on both rails all the way across. So we'll tighten that together. Okay, and then I double check one more time. Make sure that the slab is sitting perfectly flat all the way across, and it is. So our depth setting should already be pretty much set. Um, you can always crank it up one or down one if you want, but it's gonna be basically set for the, uh, for the right depth because of that last cut. So as you can see, we made a couple passes now. We still got some low spots here, but then all this is already flattened. Uh, maybe one or two more passes and we'll have this thing nice and perfectly flat. It's really cool how it's starting to bring back all the colors. You can see as it dries, it's all dark and faded and you can't see its real beauty until you flatten it. And now it's showing all those greens and the reds and the yellows of that camper slab. We just got done flattening that camper cookie slab and it turned out really nice. The wood miser slab miser makes quick work of flattening projects. This cookie, both sides took right at about an hour. Uh, right now we're charging $85 an hour for slab flattening services. So now that this cookie's done, we'll be able to contact the customer and have them come pick it up. I really like the way it turned out. Uh, as you saw in the beginning, the cookie was very dull looking like the colors had faded and it had all the saw marks and you just couldn't see the real beauty that was inside this camphor slab. Now that we've gotten it flattened, you can see all these beautiful colors, the yellows, the reds, the greens that all come with camphor. The void, the bark inclusion here in the middle is not too big. Uh, all that would need to be done is chisel out some of that bark, fill it with some epoxy and you got yourself a beautiful coffee table cookie slab. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about the Wood Miser MB200 Slab Miser. For those of you watching this video that have any experience flattening slabs, as you can see, this Slab Miser from Wood Miser works really, really well, and it really speeds up your time when it comes to flattening projects. 
Let me know in the comment section down below what kind of slab flattener you guys are using. Before we upgraded to the Woodmiser MB200, we were using the Woodpecker slab flattening mill with the Festool router. There's a lot of guys out there using those type of slab flatteners and they work really well. But when you upgrade to a system like this Woodmiser slab miser, it really, really speeds up the process. This three horsepower motor with that flattening bit works really, really well. So let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of this machine. If you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button. As always, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss all of our future videos. And that's gonna wrap it up for this one. We'll see you next time, guys.